Hi everyone, it's Dr. Jill and PJ back again with another update. As our state and all of our businesses are starting to slowly open back up again, we're seeing a lot more volume in the office for sick visits and for injuries and for irregular fevers with ear infections and, and other common viruses that children get around this time of year. Um, with a lot of the increase in movement, we're getting a lot more traffic in the office and we wanted to update you on the measures we're taking here at Healthy Kids Pediatrics to keep all of our families safe and comfortable coming to the office while keeping our staff safe as well. So due to the increase in volume, prior to this week we were trying to keep wall visits in the morning, sick visits in the afternoon, um, and trying to se separate that as much as possible. Unfortunately, since the volume is increasing a little bit, we're not able to do that as easily. Um, and it's tough when a sick visit needs to come in the morning and a well visit would like to come later in the day. It's tough to schedule and things like that. As our numbers start to go down, um, obviously things in New Jersey are starting to normalize a little bit more. We luckily were able to get a nice supply of personal protective equipment. So we have masks, gowns, gloves, eye protection, and things of that nature. Um, so we will continue seeing our sick visits who have any sort of COVID-like symptoms or respiratory symptoms out in our parking lot for car visits. Um, but we will be scheduling well visits and sick visits throughout the entire day, kind of staggered in between. But you can rest assured knowing that we are wearing proper equipment when we're outside, we're disposing of everything before we go into a well visit, um, and we have a nice supply to kind of get us through the next couple of months. Absolutely. And we can show you an example, just so everyone can see, that we will be wearing... Our beautiful designer gowns. Lovely gowns. And they go on in the front, they get tied in the back, and they cover all the way um, you know, through the area that will be exposed. Another thing we want to show you is that they are splash and fluid resistant. So it looks, it looks kind of thin and flimsy, but when you actually put water on, it goes right off and nothing goes through. So we're going to save us from things like coughs and sneezes and who's crying and spitting up and things like that. Boogers. Boogers and everything like that. So we want to make sure that everybody knows that we are keeping up with all the guidelines to be able to see our sick patients and take care of our families and see our well visits, get our vaccines in as well. We do appreciate all those who took the time to fill out the survey that we sent out last week. Um, the feedback was very helpful and we're happy to see that everyone is ultimately satisfied with how we are cleaning the office and almost every single person is feeling very comfortable coming here, which is great. Obviously, as we are moving back into normal times, um, everyone has fear because we've been isolating for so long and the virus isn't over yet, so we still have to have proper precautions, but we believe that we are doing a great job and it seems like you guys can all agree with that as well. And we thank you for trusting us because it's important that we have that feedback so we can continue to do the job that we're doing. Um, there is no COVID vaccine in the, in the foreseeable future, as any of us know right now, but flu season is coming up in a short few months, August, September, we'll start doing that. We are going to be doing our flu clinic still, more to be you know, updated soon, um, but we'll probably be doing our flu clinics as drive-bys, um, so we limit the amount of traffic in the office, and we'll keep everybody posted on how that will work out. We're going to obviously increase our times of doing our flu clinics. We were leaving them to a couple times each month. We're gonna do them a little more frequently because we do understand that families can't always come at that time. So if we give more opportunities, we can still cluster our flu clinics uh, so that families can get vaccinated without interrupting the flow of the office. Exactly. Our goal is to keep you healthy and safe. If there's anything that you can give, any suggestions, feedback, things like that, we want you to be comfor comfortable coming here. Um, so please let us know if there's anything we can do to be of any assistance to you during this crazy time. And then finally, we did send out a new registration update, um, and through that was through email yes. to everybody. The same email that had the survey last week. There was an updated registration form that went out. Um, we appreciate all 350 families who have given it back to us so far, but if you did not fill that out, please fill it out as we work on updating all of our office records. Great. We hope you have a wonderful 4th of July weekend with family and friends, as much as we can do with family and friends, and we'll see you soon. Have a good day. Bye.